So why should you believe me? Well, I have good news for you. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe anybody at all, regardless who. You don't have to believe the government. You don't have to believe your parents or your children or your friends or your neighbors. But you must believe in yourself. That is the whole key to happy living. This is Master Sio coming to you from uh, Pasadena, California. Thank you very much for joining us here for our powerful healing meditation. So there have been many books and the holy writings as well touching on the idea of believing. We are told that you have to believe in something. This means without belief things will not manifest as readily in your favor. You must believe that good things are coming to you and it's worth waiting for. Great things always happen or have the potential, the high possibilities of occurring in your favor if you believe. Believing, of course, is very different from demanding. I recently posted on Facebook that the universe does not have to conspire in your favor. No, 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 no. There's no conspiracy involved here. You have to just believe in openness or humility that good things will happen. And once you get that belief, you will innately be open to all possibilities. I also posted that uh, if you want something, it is best to think about it or request it from the universe, which is actually all in you, with a degree of humility. And uh, interestingly, a colleague of mine responded that there is no humility needed, which I take uh, with grace, it's okay that he said no humility needed and he added we are all the same. And I responded, yes you might be right, however it is uh, better for everyone involved if a request is done with a degree of humility rather than one of demanding and one of arrogance. For example, I could ask you to, and you please pass me a bottle of water as well, versus, hey you, get me a glass of water. There are two very different approaches. One is kind of arrogant and the other is more civil. I also told him that I happen to be the lifetime president of the secret order of absurd and obsessive hair splitters. <laughs> to which he uh, indicated some mirth and the, the exchange went no further than that. It was a, uh, I thought, uh, useful exchange of ideas. In any event, the whole purpose of my advancing this idea is so that we can guide ourselves with humility and not low expectations, but no expectations at all. Which means that we are in a position of neutral. 
It's like I explain to some of my clients who come to see me uh, about all manner of uh, issues, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. I tell them, if you need my help, it's best for you to have no particular expectations. You already have a expectation of some kind, that's why you're here to see me. So there's, there's no more need for additional intentions set or demands or praying. We already know that. So you will receive the deepest benefits, I tell my clients, when you are in neutral. Your heart is completely open to whatever blessings or guidance comes our way. And some of them say, well, how would the universe or how would you know what I need? And I said, no, 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 there's uh, no need for you to give me a whole litany of uh, expectations or demands because this healing is actually going to be done by yourself. You, that includes those of you watching right now, are entirely capable of triggering the response from the divine or the source to deliver the goods or to set you on the right course. But you must remain in neutral. So what I say is to be like a car, for instance. You have broken down in a manner of speaking. So I am like the tow truck. It's best that you put your car into neutral so I can tow it or push it. You could put it into park, which is a position of, I don't want any change, and therefore if I push you, the, all the wheels are locked, they can't move. Whether I push you forward or backwards, it won't move. And the worst is to, as I'm trying to tow you, put yourself into reverse and rev your engine. <laughs> then we're going to wind up in a massive tug of war. I'm trying to help you. And incidentally, uh, I, I have nothing to gain by, by helping you in this particular meditation. I'm 100% giving you my best effort, and it's up to you to take it or just shut things off. There's no skin off my nose. But whatever I do, I do with 100% lovingness or unconditional love with the hope that it would help you in your journey. I'm asking you to keep an open mind as we progress here and just observe what is happening. In my experience, people will start to feel relaxation almost as though you are going to sleep. The reason for this is that there are little microscopic particles of light uh, called biophotons. You possess these and so do I and so do all living things such as creatures in the ocean, birds and all flying animal life as well as the trees. In our existence, there is a constant flow of information. Right now, you're receiving some photons or biophotons from me via my voice video that you see. And very shortly here, I will stop talking <laughs> and ask you to just observe. In my healing work, as a master of medical Qigong and as a Hawaiian kahuna healer, I urge people to just be in neutral and to simply observe. No particular expectations, no specific intentions. The idea is to just be humble and receive whatever is coming to us like a being in a zero point. So 
when you're at the zero point, your heart space, your brain, and your entire body is ready to receive whatever needs to be delivered to you. You will receive in the next few minutes simply by observing unique sensations such as a complete relaxation. Perhaps you might be able to see things as you look at me, especially here in my third eye. All the holy books talk about lights being around certain people and this is very true. I have seen this myself uh, from uh, other people such as very developed gurus and yogis and even ministers of religions. You would see a glow about them. Hopefully you'll be able to experience that here today. But if you don't and you only feel a sense of relaxation, be assured that beneficial energy is being activated in your body simply through your observation. If you see lights, these are actually your lights, not mine. This area is a reflection of you. If we have 75 or 1,000 people here, even on a recorded video, each person would see a unique set of visuals and sensations in their bodies, meaning that you're not all looking at the same thing. So when you begin to experience these unique sensations and visuals, you might say something like, wow, that is how wonderful I look meaning you. And you have all these glorious and majestic powers to heal yourself simply through observing even subtle changes in how you feel. Now I'm going to go into quiet mode and I'm requesting that you keep looking at me and observing whatever it is you observe including nothing at all. Please continue to keep your eyes open, even if my own eyes close. Keep your eyes open and keep observing.
from this point on, you may keep your eyes open and look at a closer view of my own eyes, or you may choose to close your own eyes and keep listening to the sound of my voice affirming certain principles which will help you to uplift your life in all respects possible. I always decide what direction my life takes, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual or emotional. I celebrate the positive outcomes of my decisions and adjust any negative areas so that I can continue to move forward with optimism. I love myself completely and I am always guided to do only those things that keep me healthy, like eating only healthy foods, avoiding sugar, exercising regularly, and getting enough rest and sleep. The healthier I think I am, the healthier I get. I feel extremely healthy. I feel brand new. I feel wonderful new energy in me and it keeps me moving. I am as healthy as I possibly can be. Health is in me. I am being healed at this very moment and always, every single day, every single moment. I am happy. No matter what goes on in my life, I face my days in a healthy way and with a bright spirit and with lots of smiles. Health belongs to me. Health is in my life. Health is in my days. Perfect health resides in my body. I always decide what direction my life takes, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional. I celebrate the positive outcomes of all my decisions and adjust any negative areas so that I can continue to move forward with optimism. I love myself completely and I'm always guided to do only those things that keep me healthy like eating only healthy foods, avoiding sugar, 
taking time to exercise regularly and getting enough rest and sleep. Every cell in my body is healthy. My every muscle is healthy. My every thought is healthy and optimistic. All of me is healthy. Yes, I am a perfectly healthy person and I enjoy living my life. I am healthy. My body is healthy and my mind is healthy. I have thoughts of wonderful health in my mind at all times. I always consider myself to be healthy and I always am healthy. I am healthy every day. And the more time passes, the healthier I get. Small pains do not bother me. I am healthy. At the end, I always am healthy and with a joyous mind. My healthy thoughts keep me healthy and I think like a healthy person. I decide like a healthy person and I behave like a healthy person. I am healthy. Yes, I am in perfect health. I always decide what direction my life takes, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual or emotional. I celebrate the positive outcomes of my decisions and adjust any negative areas so I can continue to move forward with optimism. I love myself completely and I am always guided to do those things that keep me healthy, like eating only healthy foods. Please Gently open your eyes. Gently open your eyes now. And if you look around you, you will notice that things look much more bright. The room if you are inside is brighter, even if you are outdoors, the lights look much, much more bright and the colors more vivid. This is because you believed in healing yourself and you allowed the sacred energies to permeate your entire body and rejuvenate you and uplift you.
Your friends and relatives will notice from this day for several days that something remarkable must have happened to you. I want to thank you for participating in this exercise of self-healing and I'm very grateful that I was able to assist you. This is Master Seol. Thank you very much.